What's up, gentlemen? So the inspiration for today's video is actually a wedding that I attended last weekend, right? My wife and I go to this wedding. I was all excited because I got to wear my summer weight suit. It's a linen wool blend. I was wearing and rocking my collars and coat polo. I was comfortable. I was smooth and I was sexy and I looked amazing. But I'm sitting there and it hit me. I'm looking around at all these dudes and they literally are sweating their ass off. They're wearing their dark colored heavy suits. Underneath, they're wearing like a regular button down shirt and they were miserable. And boom, it hit me. I need to do a video talking about some men's summer style don'ts. Some basic mistakes that a lot of you guys are making that unfortunately are making you look A, bad, and B, making you uncomfortable. Guys, if you're ready, why don't you drop me one of these. And real quick, before we get started, if you are interested in checking out these polo shirts, gentlemen, you have got to grab them. I'm going to have a special link down below. These are from the company Collars & Co. I first heard about this company from Shark Tank. I was watching Shark Tank and I saw them and I was like, my God, they are absolutely amazing because they solve a lot of the problems of regular polos, right? They're floppy, they're not super sexy or stylish, and they also solve the problem of wearing like a long sleeve shirt underneath of like a sweater or a sport coat or a suit, right? These have stiff, hard, amazing collars. They're not going to get all whack and these are a dressier polo. The fabric is going to be a little bit softer, a little bit shinier, a little bit sexier, but they're going to lay and drape amazingly on your body. And you can actually dress these polos up or you can also dress them down. The other thing that I love, guys, look, no annoying like band by the sleeve to like wrap around your arm and get like stuck, right? They're clean, classic, perfect. Mark Cuban literally invested like a million dollars in this company and I knew that I had to order a bunch of them. I went online like immediately when the show aired, I ordered like seven of them. I reached out to them and said, hey, I'm Alva M. I have a YouTube channel. Would you sponsor some videos? They said, yes. Gentlemen, there's a link down below. There's also a special code. If you hit the link, collarsandco.com slash Alpha M, use the discount code Alpha M. You're going to get an amazing discount at checkout. They've got a few different options, right? They've got polo shirts with standard collars. They've got spread collars. They've got button down collars. Not only does Collars & Co. have the best polos in terms of dressy, sexy ass polos that you're going to look amazing in, they also have expanded their line. They now have like chinos. They've got like quarter zip sweaters. All their clothing is amazing, guys. The quality is next level. Like I said, guys, if you're interested in checking out these polos and grabbing one, two, possibly three, I'm going to link to them down below. They are amazing and in my opinion, a must have for every single stylish dude this summer. They also are great for the winter because like I said, you can actually layer them underneath of a lightweight sweater and look amazing and not be all like trying to get your sleeves and having too much fabric underneath of your shirt. Guys, hit the link down below. Collars & Co. are the best. They are amazing. Every single stylish dude needs polos in their wardrobe. All right, gentlemen, so since we started talking about suits and getting dressed up, that's where I want to start because that's one of the biggest mistakes that guys make when it comes to the summer, right? They'll wear the wrong suit, all right? So all suits were definitely not created equal. Some were created for the winter months, the cooler months. Some were specifically designed for summer. They're going to be a little bit lighter weight. They're also going to be a little bit more playful in terms of the color, right? This is an example of a winter suit, right? Notice the fabric. It looks a little bit fuzzy, right? A little bit heavier. This is an example of a summer weight suit. The suit that I'm wearing is actually a wool linen blend, all right? It's not 100% linen, all right? I personally hate linen with the passion, all right? It wrinkles like crazy. It's super like unfunctional, right? But when you combine it with wool, it makes the perfect summer suit, all right? Let's talk about colors. You know, summer is the perfect opportunity to wear some brighter, lighter colors, right? The light blues, the bright blues, the tans, the khakis, anything that's going to be a little bit softer, even a really light gray like this. Notice the color. It's a lighter gray. The fabric is also light. It's a window pane design, all right? This is also a perfect option for summer. And one more, right? This is also another great summer suit, right? The color is a little bit lighter, it's bright, it's fresh, and it's perfect for summer. Now let's talk about the shirts. So now, if you have to wear a tie, I would not recommend wearing a polo. For me, I like to do the no tie look, right, with suits, all right? The other cool thing is that if you're wearing an appropriate polo, it's very easy just to take off your jacket or lose the jacket or not wear the jacket at all. Wear it with the slacks and you're perfect, right? You're dressed up. The elevated aesthetic is amazing for going out to dinner or a party, but it just works. But you've got to make sure you're wearing the right polo, which brings me to the next rule and don't. And that is don't wear a Little boy polos are terrible. Gentlemen, come on now. All right, what is a little boy polo? Polos, in my opinion, should not be striped, right? Horizontal stripes, in my opinion, are terrible because not only are they going to make you look short and fat, they're also a little bit basic, a little bit boring, right? You want to do something a little bit cleaner. Boom, right? 
What? Seriously, steal this outfit, gentlemen. I'm telling you, you're gonna get compliments, right? The white minimal, <laughs> try again. White minimal sneakers, we'll talk about shoes in a second. The pants, a lightweight cotton chino. Summer fabric, gentlemen, summertime is the perfect place and time to wear the lightweight chino. So I used to be the dude that would wear like jeans in the summer all the time, because A, I hate my calves, and B, jeans are awesome. But once I started really getting into the lightweight cotton pants, I was like, yo, not only do these look amazing, they are crazy comfortable, all right? Here's a pair in a light, gray, which works amazing. Here's another one of my favorites, right? The dark green, super sexy. Or, like I said, the ones that I'm wearing are kind of like a light blue. Gentlemen, I'm telling you, there are a ton of different options out there. All right, grab a pair of lightweight chinos. Now, since we're talking about jeans, let's talk about those. Another big mistake that guys make is wearing the super dark denim in the summer. These are gonna be better suited for the cooler months, right? Winter and fall. In the summer, gentlemen, definitely go with the lighter color along with the lighter weight in terms of the denim, right? In the winter, you wanna wear that raw denim, the stuff that's like really heavy, go for it, really dark, go for it. But summertime, you wanna be light, you wanna be fresh, you don't wanna be overheated. And that's why I'd recommend looking for a denim that's gonna be a little bit lighter in terms of the color and the wash, but also the fabric. A lot of the denims that you're gonna find in the store that have a little bit of stretch in them are going to be lighter in terms of the weight of the fabric. So when you put them on, not only are they going to literally feel like sweatpants, they also are not going to make you sweat your balls off. And let's talk about shoes in summer, all right? So number one rule, all right? If you're wearing running shoes with anything other than like athletic wear, you look stupid. You literally look like a dorky dad, all right? Every single dude needs a pair of lightweight minimal sneakers. Whether or not it's white, it's black, it's brown, it's tan, it doesn't matter. These are the perfect option because they wear so well, they also pair with pretty much everything. Now, in terms of fashion sneakers, something that's a little bit more retro inspired, also a great option. Jordan 1s, amazing. All right, Dunks, amazing, right? Air Force 1s, also cool. Personally, I think that the white minimal sneaker looks a little bit better than the Air Force 1s when trying to dress it up because of the lower profile. I think Air Force 1s are a little bit bulky. Now, in terms of things like slides or flip-flops or even Birkenstocks or Crocs, right? Personally, I think they're appropriate if and only if your toes aren't funky and nasty as hell. Gentlemen, if you're gonna be rocking anything to expose your toes, you gotta make sure you are making sure that your toes are straight, right? They can't be all nasty and gnarly. You gotta take care of them, right? So this outfit that I wanted to put on and just show you is a nice, clean, summertime, fresh look, in my opinion, right? I went with the Burks, right? They're black, they're classic, they're timeless, and if you wear them with socks, I also think it looks okay as long as they're not like white socks, right? I think that slides and sandals with socks that used to be a no-no now I think it looks a lot better right then I went with the lightweight green pants cuffed it up at the bottom to expose the ankle that is another summertime pro tip cuff the pant to make your ankle exposed it makes you look a little bit fresh and more stylish switched up the shoes went with a pair of loafers no socks and that's the next rule I just want to talk about guys if you're gonna be wearing dress shoes you're gonna be wearing loafers you're gonna be wearing driving moccasins you're gonna be wearing sneakers you want to make sure that you're wearing no socks or or no-show socks, all right? It looks a lot better. Summertime is the perfect option to suit it up, dress up, no socks. And the last two things we gotta talk about are t-shirts and shorts, all right? So, first thing, t-shirts. Let's talk about it, all right? If you're gonna be rocking a t-shirt, it's gotta fit you properly. Now, in terms of what properly is, it really depends on how you like your t-shirts to fit. I used to say, don't wear anything too big or baggy. I know that is a style. But if you're looking to look as good as possible in terms of aesthetically, and you're over the age of 30, I would definitely not recommend wearing anything big and oversized, all right? You wanna make sure you're rocking something that isn't too tight in the body. The sleeves also shouldn't be too long. It's all about exposing the tricep in order to make your arms look as big as possible right now in terms of pockets or no pockets pockets are definitely more casual in terms of crew let's talk about v-necks v-necks actually make your face look more angular and your shoulders wider they also look a little bit more appropriate when you dress them up the clean classic v-neck t-shirt in my opinion is a great t-shirt if you're somebody that wants to dress it up you can tuck it into a pair of lightweight pants you can rock them with jeans you can also wear it underneath of a suit or a sport coat if you wanted to all right now let's talk about shorts this is where a lot of guys get into problems because they wear the wrong size they wear the wrong color they wear the wrong 
fit. Guys, it's all about the length, all right? That is rule number one. You gotta make sure that you've got at least an inch to two inches above your knee, right? Check it out, right? I've got about two to three inches above my knee. These are a seven inch inseam. Now, in terms of the appropriate inseam, whether or not it's five, it's six, it's seven, it's 11, it's 12, it depends on you and your height, honestly. All right, a shorter dude, if you wear a shorter inseam, it's gonna be a little bit longer on your thigh. If you're a tall dude and you wear like a five inch inseam, you're gonna literally look like you're wearing hot pants. Guys, it's all about that two to three inches above your knee. Also, what I would recommend is a slimmer fit. You wanna make sure that you're not wearing anything too big, too baggy or roomy, or else you're gonna literally look like your calves are the size of mine, which is super small. I ruptured my Achilles tendon, I'm insecure about it, so whatever. Anyway, the other thing I wanna mention is flat fronts. Guys, if you're rocking something that's got pleats, it's actually gonna make you look bigger and heavier. It's all about a clean, sexy aesthetic. Also, the fabric, nothing too big, nothing too heavy. You want to go with something lightweight, breathable, and stretchy. And yes, you can dress up shorts if they're the right shorts and you're wearing the right complementing pieces, all right? So, one thing. All right, elastic waistbands are a little bit tougher to dress up than something that has a button and a fly and belt loops, all right? That is what I'd recommend if you are looking to dress up shorts, but the truth is you absolutely can and look amazing. Here's a great example of one of my favorite outfits and combinations. I've got the gray flat front shorts, I've got black loafers, and then I've got the black Collars & Co. polo. Now, this one actually has the button-down collar. Guys, if you have not checked out Collars & Co., now is the time. There's a link down below. Like I said, they are amazing. They've got a lot more than just polos. The link, especially, you gotta go through there and use my code in order to get the deal. It's collarsandco.com slash alpha m. Use the discount code alpha m to get a badass deal. Gentlemen, bottom line, summertime, it's hot. Now, hopefully, if you follow these rules, you will look hot as well.